This is the key panel in San Rockhart. It is this panel, sometimes known as the Rosetta panel, that alerted researchers to the fact that it just wasn't an art of pretty animals. It's not about a menu of what they saw out there, that this in fact is a religious art, and that the religion centers on the eland. So this was not just the home of the Bushmen, this was also their cathedral in a sense, and these were a bit like the stained glass windows, very much like them, because the eland here and the human figure are so closely connected. For the Bushmen, human and animal were not very distinct categories. But they didn't paint every animal. When we excavate, we find some eland bones, they were eating them, but not all the little game they were eating was being painted. And this eland, if you look at it closely, you'll notice a number of features. Its front leg is bent forward, its head lolls from side to side, its hind legs are crossed over, its tail is between its legs, also the hairs all over it are erect. All of these postures and features tell us that this eland is dying. But the death is not a normal death, because if you look at the human figure behind it, the human figure is in fact touching the tail of the eland with the erect hairs. And the human figure's head is not at all human, but animal, as are its feet, which are hooves, like the elands. Its legs are also crossed, showing a close connection between person and eland. And by studying San or Bushman ethnography, in other words, what did the Bushmen think this art was about? This art was about power and potency and the spirit world. This eland was unlikely to have been something people saw out there. This is an eland from inside of this rock, inside of the spirit world coming out, and its potency is being used by people to perform their various functions. And the San identified themselves so strongly with the eland that in this region, as Patricia Vinicum has told us, they were called the people of the eland. And they took the inspiration, their power, their whole social being came from the eland. Look at this human figure, for example, bending forward at the waist. This is something Bushmen shamans or medicine men did when they went into an altered state of consciousness. They'd get this burning sensation in their stomach, which is the potency boiling. Behind it is still another figure in which you have legs with erect hairs, just as the eland has. And you'll notice that its head is that of an eland. Next to it, in red, is this caross clad a leather cloak-clad human figure that again has an animal head. So there's very little that is normal about this panel. This panel is rather like an image of a lamb above an altar in a Christian church. This is the panel that gives the whole game away as to the art being religious and symbolic. So this is not a normal panel. You both have to be as close as I am to it and move back, and then move further back to Bushman ethnography in order to get closer still to the meaning of this panel. The Bushmen were the people of the eland, and the eland was their power.